Can you chew up? <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. Uh, thank you for joining us. We're going to talk about some video game news, uh, some President Obama news. That's a new one. Um, Titanfall, uh, some other stuff. We'll talk about some Kickstarter news and just more news. All kinds of video game stuff that you want to know about. I have, um, to, I have to explain why I'm so tickled because there's like when I knew you were gonna do Kanichiwa, there's like so many ways you can go about that. I didn't know you would go with like anime girl. Yeah, of course. Kanichiwa, you're like Kanichiwa. Kanichiwa. Like, yeah, I, I always like, go anime villain. Kanichiwa. Kanichiwa. <laughs> Naruto. <laughs> uh, my name's Will. This is James. Kanichiwa. This is Nine. Yo, I'm English. I'll keep it that way. Mm, okay. <laughs> so, Dead by Daylight. Tell me about this change. Yeah, I don't know anything about this either. Okay, so Dead by Daylight, it's, a, uh, it's uh, announced by uh, Behavioral Games. I totally messed up that word, but I'm not going to redo it. Uh, they're they're who did, uh, right. Naughty, yeah, they did, they did Naughty Bear and Wet. So those Naughty are Bear. awesome titles. Uh, so what it is, is it's going to be a horror survival multiplayer game with uh, procedurally generated maps. Um, so four people are going to play the survivors, regular it human characters. Like a game that came out a few months ago. Uh, it, they said that it was sounds similar to Friday the 13th's Kickstarter, but the ways that it set itself apart is is one player plays the killer, basically. And they're in a first-person view no matter what. But that is randomly generated as well. So it could be uh, like a slasher. It could be a paranormal thing, like like a ghost that can go through walls. And right. All the players, four players, uh, they have a third-person perspective, allowing them to see around corners and walls and stuff like that. And uh, it says decisions that you make will influence the game. Um, you can basically try to save your own skin and kill your teammates and let the monster kill totally them. Totally me. Yeah, <laughs> sounds, sounds cool. Sounds awesome, yeah. And, and I'm totally down. And, and Wet and Naughty Bear are awesome, like, Those are good flavorful games. games They're so. out there, yeah. That's good work. Yeah, definitely work. a different style. Yeah, yeah. well, Naughty Bear as well. well just awesome. It's just, yeah. it's just different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, you know, in an odd way, it makes me excited for Friday the 13th. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they announced a bunch of new um, finishers for that oh, at man. the end of the Kickstarter. Cool. Lo so, love, love, love yeah, that. Just the good. Well, I think me and Teller were talking about the other night, which is about horror <clears throat> survival games, like having more of a multiplayer aspect. Um, and it's cool that that's actually going to happen. Like, yeah. Wish I, granted. I, I like the idea of, um, there was a, le a weird little game on, what was it, uh, Nintendo Land, I think it was. Um, and you had the Wii U pad, and the player that was the ghost could see the whole map. But if you were the other player, you could not. Mm -hmm. You had to like play. So it was interesting that one player could see this. That's what Asymmetrical I was, gaming. I was, is I kind was of envisioning game. that like maybe the players don't know what type of monster they're up against until yeah. you know. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, um, sounds really cool. So yeah, we'll have I'm to keep excited. that. Uh, Titanfall 2 um, is getting a single player, right? Yeah. It's getting a full single player campaign. Yes. Now, which, which it we have been talking needed. about this. Why are they doing it with the second one but not the first one? I don't know, but well, well, they, they, at least somebody's listening to us, right? Like, thank you. Thank well, you. they basically said that, you know, in the first one they realized that was really what they were lacking is this, when people were playing the game in multiplayer, they were thinking to themselves, who are these characters? Where are we? Right. Why are we here? And What's now, the point? And they said that they knew, like the developers already had those answers in mind, but they had no way to tell you because they opted out of a single player, which is, you know. So you don't give dumb. us a campaign to explain why we're here and what we're doing, but we're sorry. And it's not like the characters weren't cool. I mean, giant, huge robots that you can jump into sounds pretty cool to me. Oh, and it felt great. It felt like, great. It felt Everything's so cool slick. about it. It just yeah. was lacking that something. So they, they said they're going to do the single player this time. Um, they actually said there's going to be a bit of magic involved, like science meets magic, which is, yeah. This it, is just going down. But right they now. also said that it's going to be based in a very realistic world that's very nitty and gritty. So we'll see. Yeah. There was nothing realistic about that. Science and magic. Right. And, yeah, like, so, so it's... That's where things are Respawn doesn't like know what years. they're doing. That's yeah. what this says to me. Hopefully it's awesome. But I'm giving the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Wait until I see something on it. But the bonus news on that is that they're going to do a spin-off TV show. Oh, yeah, which great. Is like, yeah. Let's double down. That's Space basically magic. what they're saying. Destiny already did that, guys. Yeah. I don't have much to say about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they were talking about how expensive the spin-off is going to be and everything. And that's, that's ballsy. It could kill the franchise if it's not good. Yeah. 
Like they can literally kill respawn. Yeah. I love the idea of a single player, obviously, because we've been preaching about it for I don't know how long. Yeah. It's what the game needs. Uh, hopefully they can bring all that together, because I think... How much did Cliffy great. say? It? It's 75%? 75%. Come there. on. Yeah, we disagree with that. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. I'm just hey, prove us wrong. I please. think of it every time now. Let me see your financial reports. Yeah, just, yeah. We'll please, prove you. us wrong, because we, we disagree. But the TV show? Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, there's been videos, there's been TV shows that tied into video games before. What was that one on sci fi? Defiant? Defiance? Yeah, yeah, Defiance, yeah. Yeah, they had a game and the show like coincided together. Yeah. It didn't work out. I didn't like either, Shows really. canceled and the server canceled. <laughs> yeah, and that's what happened. So, yeah. yeah, that's all I can Doesn't say. Doesn't look there. good. I felt bad saying it, but yeah, <laughs> I didn't know if I was alone there, but yeah. apparently not. That's a good question, man. What, what other TV series? Are, oh, we're barely getting to the point where Super a Mario movie Brothers can make a game. Super Show yeah. was the only successful show that I know of. Sonic Underground. I wouldn't Underground. say it was even that good either. Oh, Sonic Underground got it was a terrible. following, I think. It's Sonic's. Yeah, yeah. He's, Sonic was probably the most successful. Yeah. Like the actual Sonic the Hedgehog like, cartoon. Yeah. Series. Well, not Boom. We don't talk right. About so that. Pac Man yeah. had its whole Pac that World. Wasn't even that long. It was only ran for like three or four seasons. Didn't do that great. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles did pretty well for itself. But that was before. Yeah, that, yeah. that was a show before First. it became a game. Yeah. yeah. We're specifically looking at games that became TV shows. TV shows. Yeah. Yeah. There's not a lot. No. no. I really can't think of And especially full-fledged, not cart, not animated. Yeah. Like right. Defiant thing, I guess. Especially a company that didn't have a, fir- a good go at its first I mean, outing. Defiant's, just Defiant's coming back had, from like, TV show time. Dodge, making commercials through post-apocalyptic worlds yeah. for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I think you said it best doubling down. I mean, yeah, this, this is like down. roll of the dice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else yeah. to say. Good luck. Uh, we hope it's great. Uh, we'll definitely watch it, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to be talking about some more news from Obama and Apple and things like that right after this. Welcome back. Uh, we're just talking about some some stuff. So go back and watch that. It's really cool. All right, listen to it. It's Check us out online at youtube.com slash psvgtv. Because reasons. Yeah, and stuff. I mean, it's obvious. Anyway. It's, it's uh, obvious. <laughs> so, obvious stuff is obvious. It's obvious. Um, Obama, President Obama. Um, Obama. The Gaming for New Computer Science Education Initiative. Right. What do we I know like about it. this? I like it. It's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, Obama's trying to enact a uh, three-year plan to invest $4 million into developing video games for instructional purposes. Um, this is being funded by like the same people, uh, well, it's being backed by the people who helped design uh, the Military Trainer The military trainer game. I can't remember the exact name of it right yeah. now. Oh, uh, sorry, go ahead. It's like a, it's, it's, it's double A, I know yeah, that. It's yeah, alliteration yeah. is involved yeah. in this title. Yeah. But uh, they said that they had such great success with that that they wanted to see it further implemented in uh, different fields. Uh, it's mainly going to be targeted to uh, minorities and the underprivileged um, for educational tools. But Obama basically put it forth in the way that everything right now is affected by the digital age. Um, mechanics, this is my favorite uh, comparison, was mechanics now work on cars that have over hundreds of millions of lines of code in it, which is less than what people at NASA work on. You know, so they need this kind of tutorial. A nurse who is like uh, assisting a patient has to deal with all kinds of lines of code dealing with that too. So that's pretty cool. It's very interesting. Actually. Hopefully, it goes through. And gaming is like a great teaching tool. Uh, I, I yeah. could not agree more. This actually ties into one of the things we talked about on a couple of episodes ago: uh, Microsoft um, and Minecraft. Minecraft yeah, Minecraft Education, Minecraft education yeah. Edition. So I think that is freaking amazing. I just love that all together. I mean, so uh, with with no sarcasm involved. Thanks, Obama. Yeah, thanks, Obama. Yeah, not. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's great. The more people that can learn from something as intuitive as a video game, the better off we are. Because yeah. everybody loves games. It's not a person yeah. on this earth can't say they don't love games. Not necessarily video games, but games in general. Games in yeah. general. I've sure. never met a person that says I don't like games. I don't like games to have fun. Too. Fun, I play no fun is not fun a thing the devil. I do. I don't play no games. I play for keeps. <laughs> yeah. Um, Picks no, are and, and the thing I like about that whole thing is, like, you know, with video games, if you look at the, obviously, some of us know the uh, a 
addictiveness and some of the things, the persuasiveness yeah. of some of the themes and all that kind of stuff. Don't mm -hmm. want your kids to play mature games, just like with music or movies, right? Right. Or anything else. But um, the on the positive side, games can improve your hand-eye coordination. They do get you more into Decision whatever you're making, doing. Problem solving. Problem solving. Yeah. And, and bringing that to the educational level, I think, is brilliant. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I yeah. really do think I'm that's all, great. I'm all on board for this. I'll vote for well, it. We turned out great, didn't we? So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's got to work. It's got to work. <laughs> I turned out okay. Yeah. I've been playing games for 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> My first babysitter was the Nintendo. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. You, you ever watch, uh, sorry, I told me to change the subject. It's all good. The Legend of Bagger Vegas. Yes. Yeah. 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 Remind me of that little kid right there. It was like, things were pretty good back in the day. It's like, you're 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, totally reminded me yeah. of that. I don't know why that's about to matter. Yeah. Uh, anyway, anyway, moving on. Topic. <laughs> um, so, uh, Apple um, rejected the binding of Isaac. Poor Isaac. Yeah. Poor Isaac. Yeah. <clears throat> Due to the abuse of children in the game, I say, come on, guys. Yeah. It's a video game. The, it, and this is so it far. Is wildly popular. Originally, wildly not even in the realm of possibility of any uh, happening. Yeah, I think originally, I don't remember if this is correct, but one of the companies, but I think it was Nintendo at first, didn't pass. Did the same thing that apparently Apple's doing it's now. coming to the Wii U. Where, the, yeah, where yeah. they said, they originally said, yeah. nope, and they just saw the premise of it, and were like, no, we're not going to pay attention to that. And they got such a backlash from the gaming community being like, you didn't even look at it. Right. Um, and they did look at it, and they're like, okay, we get it, guys. We're going to push it through. I mean, if they play through the game, they realize it's overcoming abuse. Yeah, like, exactly. That's the whole and premise so, of the yeah, game is to yeah. overcome it, abuse. It would basically be like us being like, oh, no, like we're not going to put through Lara Croft because she yeah. dies a lot. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it, It's like that's women abuse. Yeah. Uh, it should know? totally start smoking. Oh, God, we probably just started a whole revolution <laughs> yeah. with that comment right there. No, no, <laughs> because I was on like Facebook the other day, and there was this ludicrous like post about... Uh, uh, women being raped in Call of Duty, and it, it was basically just saying that because there are female characters uh, that can be overtaken, being killed, that that is a form of rape and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, rape in Call of Duty is general neutral. I am a heterosexual male. I get raped on the daily in Call of Duty. Yeah. Okay, my cookie said that's a gaming it. term, by the way. Yeah. But I, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's ridiculous. I think. Yeah, I've not been literally. No, yeah, no. I mean, that's just. <laughs> Completely ridiculous, but yeah, that's actually the point of the game. But not only that, yeah. the game is a ton of fun, oh, yeah. and it's not wow. to be taken like no. to the point that we're talking. This is ties into that whole actually going back to the Obama thing we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. But it's it. We know the cons and the pros and all that thing of gaming, and some people think about and talk about it, especially people gaming. Like, and a lot of people just life. look at games at face value. Yes. Yeah. Like if you I'm know, a, they're judging a book by its cover. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, mm -hmm. that's what they're doing. And I gotta say to the developers of Binding of Isaac, love, 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 yeah, love that game. That's great. Can't wait for it to come, the second rebirth to come to consoles. I can't wait for Apple or to after birth, their decision. After birth, yeah. <laughs> yeah, after birth. I can't yeah. wait for it. Two player, sign me up oh, for that. Cool. So exciting. Okay, so, um, did you, yeah, you, we played the, you played the first one. Oh yeah, I still play the first one. It's like a quick. It's uh, it's my it's my twenty minute time killer. It's just a go like in. I can toss it in. Uh, well, I don't even have to toss it in. I just turn it on, play it till I you know need to go pick up my son off the bus, and then I guess go back to working. So it's great. Uh, just a real quick note: the division, uh, as some of you may yeah. know, is being held back uh, from the PC specs because they want it to be on par with console specs. Which um, I laugh at. Which is yeah. Why would you do that? Just why? I think you, you do it because that's you want like, everybody to be playing on the same level. That's like telling the smartest kid in class to dumb down. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. going that's, too fast. That's what the bell curve Whoa, is for. Whoa, kid. Close the book. Literally, that's what the bell curve is for. Yeah. Yeah. Like everybody here is smart. Everybody here is dumb. Yeah. We'll grade it this way. Yeah. I kind of, I see both sides for sure. Right, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how the community responds. But when we get back, when we talk about some Kickstarter yeah. stuff right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, yeah. You know, just hey everybody. I've lost control of my hand. <laughs> Your wacky inflatable arm guy over here. I was trying to be suave, like it's just a weird combination. Um, so, Kickstarter. Um, for those of you who don't know, Kickstarter is a platform in which game developers can put their idea or 
game up on the market to get funded by outside sources, <laughs> and once it's funded with enough money, they can go into production with said game. It's not or like if you're an ant simulator, you just spend it all on <laughs> other things. Okay. Check out the podcast, Checkpoint, <laughs> PrestonTV.com, you'll love it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Kickstarter is uh, becoming more and more a thing, so much so now that there's other, uh, some of these other ones are popular. GoFundMe, Go there's me, yeah. Big, there's Crowdfunding. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so big mean, there, there's so many different ones out there now. Yeah. So... Uh, Kickstarter's just like the Facebook of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. So, what are some games? I mean, uh, the whole Psychonauts thing. Psychonauts, Psychonauts. Uh, one that's already came out that was a huge success and that I love was Shadowrun. Shadowrun Shadow was a complete yeah. and utter success. Yeah. Well, Shenmue, in particular, announced its Kickstarter campaign at the well, press they, last year. Their second campaign. They tried to do it once, didn't work. but it didn't get any money. Then Sony came along and was like, look, we will give you X number of dollars up front if you do it again and do it just for our console. Yeah. Like exclusively I think for a while. It captured also like the energy that is E three as well. Mm. Oh my god. That lit that people place were up. like, oh man. I think I think that's part of what fell on the first Kickstarter is that there was no proper announcement. Yeah. It was just like, hey, we're gonna do this on Kickstarter. You announce something like that at E three, you're gonna like, have the entire room years. light up. So would you guys invest your money into a game Kickstarter like this? Say, hey, I, I, I this have is to really trust the developer and trust really it be into it. And know what like I'm getting out of it. Right. Like, what do you get out of it? Uh, it depends, like normally like if if you fund like a certain amount of the game. Sometimes you get like a limited edition of the game. Sometimes like not that I'll ever be one of those investors, but sometimes they're like, oh, you invest $9,000, we'll put you in this game. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Or, or you yeah, know, well, like, got, got some stuff like that where <laughs> yeah. there, there was like three of them, and you you, you donate like $10,000, mm -hmm. you get a dinner date with the developer, yeah. a replica jacket from What's the Space in the Game, mm -hmm. and a signed limited collector's <laughs> oh, edition from space? the entire staff and cast. <laughs> Of Shenmue 3. Yeah. Which is pretty so, cool. And I mean, that's the kind oh, of yeah, like, like the top one. And you get all the other package stuff before that, too. Yeah. So you get yeah. all the vinyls and soundtracks and stickers and art books. And, and if it's practical, like, you know, I, I invest $60 in this and I get a free edition of the game and sign by all the developers. Essentially, you're just paying for your copy of the exactly. game. Exactly. You know? So. And that's awesome. Like, I love that. And you get to participate and feel like yeah. you were a part of a making something you love. A lot of people, so like, you, you donate happy. $100, they give you a you special thanks and the credits, credits yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. And so, so, I mean... prepared to start sitting through a lot of long credits. This is a big deal. <laughs> Mom, are you watching right now? What, what do you mean you haven't beat the game yet, Mom? <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, is this good for gaming? I mean, what, what is, is this the wave of the future? I mean, I, I think I like it's... It. Okay. So I think it's good for indie games. Yeah. I don't think major AAA developers should get in on this because I think it's just cheating your customers. Well, yeah, because they already have their funding. They already right. Have they're, their they're packed price. by a publisher already. Mm -hmm. Like if EA starts like being like, "Come on, guys, put some money." In. Right. Have like if Visceral <laughs> said, "Yeah, we're going to crowdfund the next." I Dead would Space. put a pass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if Visceral started crowdfunding the next Dead Space, I'm like, no. Just yeah. Stop what you're doing. What if they said they broke up with EA? That'll never happen. Because Again, EA's no. like. It was a hypothetical night. It's, 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 it's like a Venus flytrap. What goes in never comes out. Yeah, I know. It All is, right, uh, you're watching and listening to Fresh Start TV. We're talking about Kickstarter, if it's good or bad for the video game industry. Um, obviously, there are some games that are going to be made because of Kickstarter that yeah. would never have been made. Yeah. Psychonauts 2. Yeah. I think Kickstarter and the idea behind that implementation is actually good for almost industries, you know what I mean? Just like the tabletop game we talked about oh, on the, our audio huge. cast. On Kickstarter. There's that new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comes out. I'm stoked. Um, but even like people that write books, you know, like an author who otherwise yeah. wouldn't be heard or be published, they can release like, a few chapters of their book, put it online, and be like, this is what I have. So yeah, there's you, many other, it's funny. not just gaming. No, right? so, oh, yeah. no it's open to all platforms. Yeah. 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 Gaming Everything. draws a lot of attention, uh, right? and so it's really helpful. And science and technology them. draws a massive yeah. amount of uh, the Roomba wouldn't be around without Kickstarter. Exactly. They're doing a grill Roomba now. Yeah, yeah. which is just, looks that like, has bad written yeah. all over. It looks like it just bounces around inside of there and, you know. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know a guy who put a raccoon tail on his Roomba and calls it his raccoon tail. Awesome. Great. I, I like watching videos of cats ride them around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just sitting on it like, hello, yeah. I'm doing something. This is my, this is my chariot. Um, in my way. So what are some of the negative effects from Kickstarter, though? Um, when it fails, yeah. <laughs> when you invest when you your, money your money back, and no, no, no. 
No. No. Sorry. Who How funded it? Tell us your story. Because yeah. they treat it just Sorry, like guys. Yeah. It just didn't work out. They we treat invited just to the like party. You didn't get our message. Borrowing money from your friend is how it's treated. Like, yeah. Your friend gives you ten dollars for gas. Bad friends. You're never gonna pay that friend back. Yeah. You might buy him a sandwich, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah. And call it even when it was a ten dollar yeah. sandwich, and you know I gave you twenty dollars for gas. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's not cool. Though. Yeah, it's not cool. They, they, there's no legal binding action to prevent people from getting ripped off. Yeah. So, so you got to know what you're getting into. What you're getting into, mm -hmm. just like with anything else. So now, and some they, can, they can set believable goals that they're trying to reach, and you right. assess that's that. Another, that's another. That's that's done on the actual people yeah. that are presenting as partners, right? right? Yeah. Because. As a investor, you're looking like there's no way they're gonna hit this. Yeah. But then some of the headlines that come across, oh my gosh, they hit their. Let me just throw my money in the bottomless pit. Ha! <laughs> See if it clinks. Well, the some of the people that hit their hit their goals like really fast, but yeah. yeah. I think nine. You said it best. Um, I don't think it's a thing for the gaming industry anyway. I don't think it's a thing for major developers. But they have fun. But indie yeah. startups, it's it's a way. Right. To give your game a shot, and and I'm sure <laughs> this blue Red Bull, it's delicious. I can't help myself. It, it's you know, so I spot her out on the whole thing, right? I mean, yeah, I, mean, I I certain things belong on Kickstarter, certain things don't belong yeah, on Kickstarter, certainly. like potato salad. Right. Yeah. You heard it here first. All right, PressStartTV.com. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Again, it's PressStartTV.com. Until next time, guys. We'll see you. Have a good one. Later.